Okay, what I'm throwing at you right now, my party people, is a sun compilation video I've done today, yesterday, and the day before because the sun's been acting so wacky. I've been having a hard time keeping up. Now, I think we may have a record for the largest, longest sun filament ever. And we had a solar flare coronal mass ejection that I don't know what the flare class is, but I'm going to create classes for coronal mass ejections. And this would be in the shit ton category because there is a shit ton of mass being ejected from the corona of the sun. I mean, it is huge on all the cameras. And then we have giant asteroids or space plankton or UFOs. I don't know what they are. A lot of solar anomalies. So come on along to this helio party. All right, right now we are looking at um, the giant filament. And I mean, this thing is massive. I mean, if this connects, that thing tears off. That's like the size of a hundred thousand Earths. Okay, maybe just a thousand Earths. Either way, that is by far the largest filament I have ever seen. And then we've got our monster sunspot over here. Crazy for feeling blue. I mean, that is a giant, massive coronal mass ejection. It's like the sun shot out a mushroom cloud. Maybe just a mushroom. And if you notice, we get space angels. Notice the spider has like tendrils. Maybe the sun is a spider shooting at spider webs. Spider sun. Spider sun. And there. Flash of Planet X. I'm sorry, Herculubus. You're that slow lift off. Yeah, that's just incredible. These are crazy days, crazy times indeed. Change is definitely the one constant in the universe. It's just bizarre in so many ways. How can anybody fully understand the sun? I don't care what scientists tell you. There's nobody who understands everything about the sun. That's amazing. It's like the sun is on a diet. It's trying to lose a lot of weight. Except maybe suns don't have weight. They just have mass. Crazy days indeed. If there's one camera right now that captures essence of how the standard solar system sunspot cycle for the sun is a gross oversimplification. Just measuring coronal mass ejections and their size. It's this camera. Look at all this activity right there. Look at that giant loop that goes out of there. And then watch, this is the loop forming. And they're all just freaking out. That is not normal. You wanna find me a solar scientist who would like to say that this is normal? Look how far these are sticking out. And these giant coils, man. Like it all started with this one that was sticking way up. Connecting to, connecting to only God knows what. I'm definitely thinking phoenix egg. If it turns into a giant phoenix of light, hopefully I'll have time to tweet science. I told you it was a phoenix egg. That was a joke. Remember, even if the sun was going to explode, you'd have about five to J. Or it's a reptile lizard man. It's a big sun snake. Maybe even the biggest sun snake I've ever seen. Got our V right there. There is so much amazing footage of what's going on with the sun right now. I'm having a hard time keeping up. I mean, look at the amount of plasma that is just firing off right and left. Watch the X-class, M-class flares make their superpower X sign. We get another fire canyon coming up right there in the middle. Right there, it says JJ, JS. 3S, SC, and all the charged protons. There's just so much going on. Man, that sure got to the camera fast. We're watching a lot of sun output. Filament Vs, energy transference, matter discharge. And that doesn't exactly look like a uniform process. And this sure doesn't look like any solar max. I've seen reports of, even though none of these are major x-class flares other than the x-class flare that we you know we go through bang 
You turn me right round, baby, right round like a record player. Okay, so scientists were saying, again, to me, that all the evidence shows the sun doesn't affect the climate that much. But, like, let's say the sun splits into two or changes into a different type of star, a stellar evolution, let's call it. Do you think that'll change the climate much? I mean, it's a serious question. To say that the sun doesn't affect the climate would mean that no matter what the sun does, the climate wouldn't be affected, right? Like, as far as I know, the sun is the number one main driver. It seems like we should be more worried about getting people off the coasts and being prepared for all possibilities. That's right. We're looking at old girl sun. She freaks out, and the camera freaks out, and then there's some weird eclipse thing. And I haven't mentioned the eclipse thing that keeps showing up, because I try not to sound like a kooky conspiracyist. I try not to grasp at straws, but it keeps doing it. And it's like, what is blocking out the light, dude? Like once every three days. Okay, now let's get to the action. Down here, as I predicted, the filament rips off. And then up here, watch this movement, it's incredible. But that probably just means auroras, sprites, weird weather, and more volcano activity. Because I would guess a percentage of the sun's plasma transfers into the core of the Earth, is then turned into matter, so the Earth continues to grow bigger as the sun grows bigger. Let's guess. And I think the fact that there's so many triangle shapes always, like this breaks down into a triangle. That's trippy, eh? Wow. Neato. It's Saturday. And we got nothing but solar anomalies. Lockheed Martin's like, shut up, quit singing. Yeah. That was a I'm paranoid, everybody's in my machine joke. Was it funny? Sweet. Son. How do you feel about nonsensical gibberishing? Because I think that's all you're going to get for this last minute and a half. As we go over some of the more interesting still frames that I have pulled out of the Lasco C2 and the Lasco C3. So how are you doing today? Really, that's fascinating. What are you wearing? That question is for the ladies only. And if somehow you think that question is insensitive, it bothers you. Just pretend like I never asked it, man. Because technically, I asked my computer. That shows how crazy I am. I looked at my computer, and I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, said, What are you wearing? When you know, computers don't wear anything. I mean, slip cases, slip covers, bumper stickers, stuff like that. That doesn't count as wearing. It's been stuck on them. People don't wear things that have been stuck on them. You know what I'm saying? So what are you going to do today? How come you never give me a hug? Are you mad at me? What do you want for lunch? Do you think I'm awesome? I think you're awesome too. All right. Sure, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Peace, love, and filaments. How do you feel about um soda pop? You know, when you try to be funny, it's so hard. It just has to come naturally. You know, a lot like um building a house. You can't just work at it hard. So you have to let it come naturally. All right.